guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rose. I had uh, received a request, yet another request. I hope you guys aren't too bored with the Montaigne um, uh, comparison videos because I did receive another request for the beautiful, of course, Montaigne BB and the Louis Vuitton Palace BB. Um, so let me take this off so you guys can get a better look at this. So I am going to be doing a review on these two. When I looked at the price, when I was doing um, you know, the research on this to do the comparison, I was surprised to find out that I, can't, I just didn't remember how much I paid for this, but these are the exact same price. Uh, they retail for the same price in the US, but I will be going over those specs. Um, I am Rose, by the way, um, as you can tell by the title, Rose Loves Lux. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new, please consider subscribing. I do luxury hauls, clothing hauls, um, luxury reviews, those types of videos. I'm getting into lifestyle, but um, if that's your cup of tea, please join me. Um, click that subscribe button and that bell button so you'll be notified of future videos, but we're going to get straight into this. Again, we've got the Montaigne BB and the Plus BB. I will go over the Montaigne. Um, just because I've done that one already. Just get this out of the way. Um, so we are looking at um, the product code or the SKU number, or whatever you want to call it, uh, is Amazon Mary 41055. This beauty retails for $22.60 in the US. And we've got 11.4 inches in length. We've got 7.9 inches in height, and we've got 5.1 inches in the depth or the width. We have got this removable crossbody strap. It is not adjustable, it's simply removable. We've got the four gold studs on either side. We've got the four feet at the bottom as well. The beautiful Vachetta handles, and it's got the clochette which houses the keys. It's got the beautiful, I say eggplant, but it says burgundy, microfiber, microfiber, excuse me, lining on the interior. And it's got one compartment here, the zipped compartment here, and then another compartment here. It's got a flat pocket on this side with the made in stamp. That's a flat pocket. And then it's got these two BB pockets on the side here, there's one and two. And of course the top clips for security. And of course it's got the gold hardware, but that top uh, clips for security. You can wear this on the crook of your arm. You can wear this top handle. And of course you can wear this beauty crossbody or over the shoulder. I am 5'3", as you all know, that's where it hits me over the shoulder and then crossbody. It hits me right here, which is perfect for me. I think it's a quite a perfect length. You guys, it is super cold today. I don't know what it's doing where you guys are, but we've literally had 75 degrees yesterday. It was four, well, like 40 was the low, I think 50 was the high today. We're going back to 60 or 70 tomorrow. It's been insane, it's been so insane. My throat's been killing me. I don't know why everybody's sick. Um, but I think that's everything on this beauty. And of course it has, uh, I forgot to show you, the lock right here. It comes with a lock and the keys, of course, as you saw in the clochette. Um, but the product code is in the, the flat pocket, um, right in, right there. Hope you guys can see that, yeah. So those are the specs on this gorgeous bag. And then we are going to do the beautiful Palace BB. And I've, I've got mine in the Noir. This comes in, when I checked the site, I felt like I only saw the red or the Cerise. Um, so it's got the Noir, mine is Noir. It's got the little accents of the black right here. Um, but I didn't, I didn't see this on, on the site when I looked at it, but it is similar to the Montaigne BB in the fact that it does not have an adjustable strap. It has a removable strap again, and it is crossbody. I can easily wear a crossbody, and I will look at, um, let's see if we can do that right now. Hang on. Because I think I said this one was about 24 inches from the uh, hardware to the top of it, um, and they are, let's see. 
This looks a little bit longer, the Palas. So I'll have, no, they look about the same actually. So they look pretty much the same as far as length. So this is anywhere from 20, probably 21 to 22, 23, or 20 to 22 to 24 inches um, from the strap, uh, strap drop, excuse me. So it's got this treated, and I wanna say it's called articulated. I don't know what they call it on the website, but as you can see, they're the darker brown. So it's the treated leather, which I like, cause you guys know I do not like which I'm so surprised that I love this so much because I don't like the patina process. I cannot stand it. I like it to stay light. I just don't like when it gets that dark um, honey color. I, I just don't care for it. I know some people love it to each their own, but for me, I'm, I'm just not crazy about it. It does have the dual zipper closure right there. It's got the magnetic pocket right here. And then it's got one on the other side. This does have feet as well, and it's got that same X as the um, Montaigne. So just let me give you all the views. Let's, let's do that, Rose. The Montaigne, as you can see, is a lot thicker, and it is taller. So it'll be interesting to see what these fit, or this one fits in comparison to the Montaigne. But the, the product code for this particular bag, or the SKU number, is M as in Mary, 41218. It has got 10.6 inches in length, or 27 centimeters, seven inches in height, or 18 centimeters, 3.5 inches in the depth, or the width, or nine centimeters, right here. And as you can see, it tapers down, but I do love the beautiful, uh, I don't even know what you would call that on the side, the details on the sides. I think that's very, very cute. But it of course has a gold hardware, well, hardware as well. So let's go inside. It does have the black microfiber lining. It's got this one and I've got stuff in there, but it's got this one pocket right here right there and that's where the made in stamp is this particular one i think it's us because it doesn't say made in france or spain but there it is right there and it is just completely dark in there and i think that's it for the features um inside or the features on the bag um So yeah, let's get into what fits inside these guys. All right, so this is the gorgeous bag I was using today. It's been a crazy, like I said, the weather's been crazy. So this is the perfect all weather bag. Not that this isn't, but this, you guys know the speedies are amazing. You can just throw your stuff and go. I did, by the way, buy a purse organizer because when you just put your stuff in here, this is what ends up happening. I'm gonna take this out and it's just a bunch of, I mean, it's just, it's so disorganized. It's just all thrown in there and that, that's beginning to drive me crazy. So I'm excited to get that. All right, so we're going to, you guys know I love my toiletry pouch and I usually take this with me on a daily basis. I'm gonna stick that um, vertically just so I have more room. And I've got my Victor, Victorine, my Zippy, <laughs> I should have my Victorine, but I have my Zippy compact wallet. So this is like a mid-size wallet. And as you can see, that's getting stuffed already. Um, I always have my key, so I'm gonna grab my key holder. And my keys are all over the place, good lord. I've got the six ring um, key holder in both the uh, monogram with the rose ballerine and the emperor. This is in the noir. So that's going inside because I always, you ha always have to have your keys. Okay. And that's getting a little tight. That's everything. The key is right there. And then wallet and toiletry pouch. And what else? What else? What else? What else? Let's just see how that closes up. Okay, so that's how it closes up. I've got room like right down here and down here. So it's just a matter of really placing, strategically placing your items. So let's put, I'll stick the keys right in that part. So I got, I've got room there. 
and let's go for sunglasses. So this is the sunglass case in the MM size. And that does fit, but I really feel like, see I could, I definitely could put something like right in here. So let's try my round, where is my round coin purse? Or let's just do, um, we'll do my Rosalie um, coin purse, excuse me, Rosalie. We'll stick that in the bottom. And it is getting tight, but it does fit. So that's everything. Let's see how that closes up. And it does, but you're gonna have that like funky looking, you know, look right there, right in here. But it does close up. And did I do uh, mod shots for you on this? I didn't. Okay, so there's Crook of the Arm. It's super, super comfortable. And I'll I'll put the um, dimensions as far as from from this to the top of the sh uh, handles, so you could you guys can get a good idea of how that would fit on you. Again, I am five three. That is over the shoulder, and as you can see, I've, it's way below my waist and my hip area. And then of course, crossbody fits perfectly. I love this bag crossbody, absolutely wonderful. So I'm gonna put both of them together just so you can see them together and where they, so they are pretty much, this one's a little bit lower. So I feel like this strap is a little bit longer, maybe by an inch if that, but they are pretty darn close as far as the strap drop. And then I'll do, over the shoulder side by side but yeah they fit pretty yeah pretty close all right so let's give you other options as far as the Pelascos but that was a lot you guys so that was my sunglass case that was my zippy compact wallet that was my toiletry pouch that was my that's a lot Rosalie coin purse my six ring key holder. And then of course in the pocket I had some mints, a pen, and some um, breath spray or breath, yeah. So those three items were in that pocket. I could easily have put my, I have an iPhone 7 Plus um, and I just upgraded to an iPhone 8 for my work phone. Um, they're the same size, but that easily fits in there and that could have fit in there with all this stuff. So you're talking one, two, three, four, five, six pieces, which I think is phenomenal because this really looks unassuming. It does not look like it would fit that much, but I'm gonna keep my phone in there. My phone's right down there. Um, so what else? I'll always have my keys. I'm going to replace the um, the mid-size wallet for a compact wallet. So I am going to, where is it at? Oh, okay. So like I said in my previous video, when I'm not using my um, toiletry, toiletry pouch 15, I always have this guy with me. And this is the mini pochette and I love this so very much. And I just have, you know, like a lip gloss and loyalty cards and just stuff like that. Just, um, extra cards in there. So I will put the mini pochette in there. And I'm gonna put that this just the way it's supposed to go in. I'm going to put my um, six ring key holder in there. Stick that on the side. What about my, yes, we'll put my um, Agenda PM in there. And that sits straight up. That. So those three pieces are in there so far. Of course, my phone is in that pocket as well. So we are going to, where is my um, business card holder? Oh, this is my new uh, 8 Plus. As you can see, it's the same size as the 7 Plus. This one just has a big old case on there. But um, this is my new work phone. So I'll typically have that with me. I'm just gonna stick this on the other side. 
and they are magnetic so you've got that um they do close very nicely so both of my phones are in there and what else business card holder where's that i've got pen my ted baker pen and here is my business card holder so we're going to stick this in there and this would be something i would definitely carry on an everyday basis just change it up a bit so there you go two phones pm agenda pens six ring key holder business card holder and a um um uh pochette mini pochette so there's that and again it closes pretty nicely you're just gonna have that look pretty it's not too disfigured but it's not flush either but that's how it looks and it's perfect it does get a little bit heavy um for this little guy but i love this i love this so much this it, this can easily transition from evening or from day to evening i've done that many times on work um trips um i love it i absolutely love this bag all right so i think that's good if i did miss anything if you guys want to see anything just let me know and i can you know put that on instagram see what else fits inside of there i do not know i should have brought my mm uh, agenda but i do have let's see i've got this we're just going to see and this would probably be an a5 size this would be probably smaller or maybe the same size as the gm agenda so we're just going to see if this fits in here just for demonstration purposes since i forgot my mm agenda and it definitely does not so i really do feel like the mm um yes agenda would fit in here and i might get that just to demonstrate that to you guys i can't believe i forgot it so yeah um the gm definitely wouldn't um but the mm i'm pretty sure would all right and i'm just going to put these items in the montane so you can see um how they fit in the montane there is a beautiful the beautiful colossus bb again And of course, mine does come with Noir, and like I said, I only saw the red um, when I looked on the website. Okay, so I'm going to put my PM Agenda, my compact wallet, business card holder, mini pochette. That's what it's looking like so far as you can see this is going to be able to fit a lot more than the Palas sunglass case um oh my goodness what is this um rosalie coin purse oh yeah that's that's perfect pens i'm gonna go on top um a six ring key holder yeah and there's still room you guys that's all in there and it fits beautifully and there's still room for what can i put in there i can put my round coin purse i think it's in here already yeah my round coin purse was in that middle pocket oh and my phones so let's stick my phones in there so seven plus the apple seven plus that is right there right there and then i'll put my new uh, iPhone 8 plus and that'll go on the opposite side and they're both in cases so as you can see this baby fits a whole lot okay we're gonna stick that right there so that's everything so it definitely does fit a ton more than I love this bag so much a ton more than the Palas it does get heavy with all that stuff in there too but i mean if you're gonna compare i think these both of these bags are great for everyday use i think you can easily transition i don't know if this probably this probably would be a better transition just because it's got that dark um the dark handles and the noir for like evening and you can easily take the straps off and i will show you what that looks like without the straps 
or the strap. So you can just carry it like this. And I think that'd be great for, you know, um, an evening out. And the um, Montaigne, um, I don't know. I, I, you tell me, what do you think as far as evening out? I don't know. I think it's a little too big for an evening out. But I mean, if you're going to dinner, a casual dinner, movies, that sort of thing, absolutely. Even a dinner, um, like a dinner, uh, excuse me, like a business dinner, I think that would be great. You just wouldn't pack it so much, obviously. But you could take this, and this is what it looks like without strap on this one. But it's so stinking cute. So I think you could easily do that as well. So I think that's it guys. Um, I might come back on here with the MM agenda just to kind of show you guys. But um, those are, I mean, two great, again, two great bags. It just depends on your lifestyle, you guys. I mean, you know what you do on a daily basis, more casual, you know. I think that you could, you know, dress both of these up, but um, it would just definitely be on, based on, you know, what your lifestyle is. Yeah, but I think that's going to do it, you guys. Thank you so much. I will put who requested it down below. Um, thank you so much for the request. I hope I answered all of your questions. If I didn't, please, like I said, just let me know down below. You can DM me on DM me on Instagram. It's Rose Les Lux. And yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, I love interacting with you guys. So please leave comments below. If you have any questions, comments, whatever, I'd love to hear them. Uh, share the video if you think it'll help somebody. But um, thank you so much for watching, you guys. I will be back with another video. My goal is to get uh, two videos in a week, um, being hopefully trying for Wednesday and Saturday, just to, you know, depending on my schedule. But that's my goal is to get two videos out um, at least uh, Wednesday and Saturday. But um, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. There are the gorgeous bags again. And I will see you guys on my next video. Take care. All right, you guys, I'm back. You knew I had to check. <laughs> it was gonna kill me if I didn't. So here is the, I just ran upstairs, sorry. I'm winded, that's horrible. Um, the MM Agenda, Louis Vuitton um, MM Agenda, and this is in the Epi Leather, so the Noir. Um, I'm going to stick this in here just to demonstrate that it does fit. It does. There we go, guys. So the MM Agenda does fit perfectly in uh, the Palas BB. And then you could really not take much more. So you could take a compact wallet. So I will stick my Rosalie as my compact wallet and a phone. That's the iPhone 7 Plus and my keys, of course. So I'll stick my keys in there and let's see how, let me put my phone in that pocket. I'll put my keys right here. So that's what it looks like with those three pieces. So that's pretty, that's pretty good guys. And it closes just fine. And I would have to put my phone in this pocket. There, and it does fit. So there you go guys, the MM agenda. Oh my God, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> we So we live by a base, holy cow. I don't know if you guys heard that, but we live by a base and yeah. I hear bombs like all the time. It's so annoying. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. So there is um, <laughs> the Palas with the MM Agenda. Oh my goodness. All right, guys, that's it. So thanks again, you guys, and I'll see you on my next video.